Hello guys, Softoni here, welcome to my new video tutorial and today we're going to create a modern summer slideshow with an ultra modern design. By following this tutorial you will be able to create a captivating slideshow that will elevate the visual appeal of your videos. I often incorporate this technique in my work so don't miss out the opportunity to learn from my experience. To stay updated with more exciting tutorials like this make sure to subscribe to my channel. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and unleash our creativity! Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create a new comp with Ctrl plus N or this little icon here, I will rename it. Finally, you can of course type your own name, this will be 3840 by 2160 4K composition, frame rate 30 frames per second and duration I will leave it to around 7 seconds. Hit OK and now let's create another comp, I will rename it to BG4 background. Hit OK and now let's create our first solid. Go right click, find here new uh, solid layer, I will rename it BG01. Hit OK and then go here on the effects and preset and if you can't find it just go window and click here, effects and preset, OK type ramp effect and then just drag and drop onto our background 01 like so and here we will make a few adjustments uh, for this upper point move it to closer to center and for the lower point move it to around here you can now hit here swap colors like this and for the first color we will do cyan blue color also you can use eyedropper and for the second color maybe different type of blue like so and then hit ok now let's add our background uh, composition in our final comp like this and now let's create our uh, background media go again control plus n to create a new comp also 4k i'll just rename it to bg media and then hit ok drag and drop our footage of course you will import your own just drag and drop like this and now let's import our background media here in our final composition like this. Hit T for opacity and we will do maybe around 30%. Okay, now let's create our grids here in our finals. Go right click, find here new solid again. I will type grid, also 4K, hit OK. Go in the facts and preset, find grid effect, drag and drop onto our uh, grid solid layer. Uh, and for the size from, choose and find width slider and for the width type 40 and for the border type around 20. Now hit here to invert grid and now we have something like this here in our finals. Also for the blending mode, change here from normal to overlay if you can't find it, just hit here toggle switches and modes, find here overlay, also hit T for opacity and type here 20%. Now we have seen like this in our finals also, what we can do is to animate our background media for scaling, go to 0 frames, hit S, maybe 115, like so, set up our first keyframe and then go to around 5 or 6 seconds or 7 and type here 100. And now when we hit 0, we have also this movement in our finals, okay. Now let's also create animation for our background media. I will close this effects control for now. Okay, let's create a new comp. I will rename it BG animation. Hit okay. And now let's add also our solid layer. Go right click, find here new solid layer. I will rename it to fractal noise. Hit okay, go in the facts and preset, find fractal noise effect drag and drop onto our solid and now let's make a few adjustments for the contrast type 150 brightness uh, minus 50 like this complexity set to one okay open up this uh, transform option and scale it to around 2500 like this and now let's animate our complexity set up our first keyframes here at zero frames then go to around seven seconds and type here to also evolution uh, set up our first keyframe also here at zero frames and then go also to around seven seconds and type here one. Now when we hit zero we have this uh, fractal noise movement in our background animation composition. Okay now let's add another effect go here in effects and preset find 
hue and saturation, drag and drop onto our fractal noise effect. Check this colorize box for the colorize hue type, maybe around the 60 and colorize saturation 100. Also our third effect will be uh, threshold RGB. Okay, drag and drop onto our fractal noise layer. And now when we hit zero, we have this kind of movement and our fourth effect will be Triton effect. Find hit Triton like this. And now you can also change uh, highlights and mid tones to white color. And now this will use as a mat in our final composition. Okay, now let's add our background animation here in our finals like this. And also we will add our background media here in our finals once again here uh, below our background animation as well. And for the blending modes find here uh, Luma Matte and as you can see we have this modern animation now in our finals. Also what we can do is to grab them again, hit Ctrl plus D for duplicating them. Also this uh, background animation hit S for scaling, I will type 110. And now click here on our first background media like so, go in the effects and preset, find fill effect. Drag and drop on our background media and let's change our color to maybe this kind of yellow color. Now we have these cool strokes, stroke lines in our finals. Also one thing we have forgotten to do is to open up this background media, background composition, duplicate this background O1 layer, hit Ctrl plus D and then hit Q for a few times until you find this uh, here ellipse tool and now let's create a mask for our second solid layer, hit Ctrl Shift and Alt on your keyboard to draw a perfect circle like this and then you can hold space to move it on the left or on the right side on our scene like so and just now open up this mask property and for the mask feather type here 800 and now let's change our gradient ramp effect but before that change our points maybe this first one here second one here and change these colors to maybe a pink or you can also use eyedropper like so hit ok and now when we go here in our finals we have this cool color combination of yellow blue and Pink. Okay, now let's create two new compositions for our main media. I will close this effect control for now and hit control plus N. I will rename it to media 01 plus elements 2000 by 2000. Hit OK and now let's create another composition just media 01. Hit OK and now let's add our media 01 into our media 01 composition like so. Hit S for scaling if you need for your own media, for your own footage, like this. You can readjust, use arrows on your keyboard to move up or down, like so. And now let's import our media composition into our media 01 plus elements. And now, as you can see, we have this cool footage. Okay, now go right click, find here new solid layer. I will rename it to just BG, also 2000 by 2000, hit OK. And now let's create the shape of our background layer. Hit Q on your keyboard or find again this ellipse tool. Hit again on our background layer and now hit Ctrl Shift and Alt on your keyboard to draw a perfect circle like here in our media of one plus elements composition. Okay, now let's uh, duplicate this uh, once again, hit Ctrl plus D, move it below our media 01. And for our media 01, let's find here alpha mat. Now, as you can see, we have this circle shape of our media and for the lower background, hit S for scaling, I will type 103. Also, as you can see, now we have this cool stroke of our media. Also find here again fill effect, drag and drop onto our first background and let's change color to maybe around uh, this type of yellow like this. Hit OK and now uh, close this, those compositions, uh, go again in our final comp and just drag and drop media 01 plus elements. And now as you can see we have this cool footage in our final composition, you can scale it down, hit S maybe to around 85 and now let's animate our media plus elements okay select this composition hit p for position and then move it on the left side according your needs this is looking fine to me and then go to around two seconds like so also while you're holding shift hit r for rotation click here toggle switches and modes 
turn on 3D layers and let's animate our rotation and our position. Set up our first keyframe for position, X, Y and set rotation. Uh, later we will play around with the uh, numbers and then go to around zero frames for the position move this Y parameter down like so until our media is outside of our scene like so and for the x rotation type minus 60 for the y type 10 and for the z rotation also minus 30. now when we hit zero in our finals we have this basic animation of our media now grab all of our keyframes hit f9 and then go to graph editor and draw a curve like this and if you can find curve like this, just go right click and hit here, edit speed graph. Now, when we hit zero, this is looking really, really cool and really nice. You can also play around with the parameters of our second keyframes. Let's try for X rotation minus six, maybe for this uh, Y rotation minus 10 and for the Z rotation minus five, like so. And now when we hit zero, this is looking really awesome. Now let's duplicate this media O1 plus elements. I will call this one shadows like so. Hit here and then go again here in the facts and preset. Again, find fill effect, drag and drop like this. Change color to black of course, and then type Gaussian blur, also drag and drop in our scene. And for the blurriness type to around 300. And now, as you can see, we have also these uh, cool shadows in our finals. This is looking really cool and really awesome. One thing you can also do is to add a wiggle expression for our media O1 and shadows position parameter, but I will leave it to you. Okay, now let's create our text layers here in our finals. Hit Ctrl plus T or go here on this horizontal type tool. Okay, I will just type summer slideshow i'm using this winter soul font and 280 font size readjust it here in finals according your needs like so and now let's also create another text hit ctrl plus t again and draw a box like this i already have my text copied i'll just hit ctrl plus v you will of course add your own text as you can see this is a 70 font size of this second text also, let's select our summer slideshow, go here in the facts and preset, find again, fill effect, drag and drop onto our summer slideshow and let's change color to maybe this type of yellow or green color. Okay, now we will animate our parameter. For basic animation, you can type here, type writer, but uh, I will just type another text animation stretched in each line just drag and drop onto our summer slideshow just make sure that our play had this set here uh, at zero frames and now when we hit zero as you can see we have this really cool animation we can try type writer for our second text go here in the facts and preset find type type writer drag and drop onto our second text and now when we hit zero we have this really cool animation in every moment you can hit u and readjust uh, keyframes you can also easy ease them as i mentioned earlier everything is up to you now our scene in our finals looking very very cool okay guys you can also add uh, light leaks here in our finals decoration like x shapes circles and so many more you can basically play around with the options. You can also add drop shadow. Let's try go in effects and preset type drop shadow, drag and drop onto our text. And you can play around with the options for the distance, maybe around 10 softness to around 20, but I will leave it also to you. This is with drop shadow and this is without our drop shadow. Also, let's try to our second text drop shadow maybe distance to around five, softness to around 15, play around with the options. And now when we hit zero, we have this really awesome and really cool animation. All right, guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. This was really cool technique to create your own summer slideshow. Hope you like this video. If you like this one, please hit that uh, like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Also take a look on my profile on my channel for even more great tutorials. 
Also turn on the bell icon so you can always get notified whenever I post a new clip. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.